Greetings everyone and welcome to Bata Seven Nation. So today's video we're going to be looking at three different things. We're going to be looking at a major update to Flatpak. We're also going to be looking at an update to Steam. And finally, we're going to be looking at some new games. So first thing is first. An article came out on the GitHub blog a few days ago uh, celebrating the 30th anniversary of Linux. And they've got this article of top 30 free open source Linux games. Some of these games we've already seen. In fact, we've already covered them. But there's some new gens I'm going to cover in this video. Now then, I will be providing a direct link in my video description on this article, okay? There's actually a three-part article. There's part two and there's part three, okay? So again, all three parts I will be linking in my video description. Let's go ahead and look at some of these games. Okay, we've got Warzone 2100. Uh, which is one of the strategy type of games. Uh, then we have Open TDD, which is a simulation game based upon Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Okay, this is a classic. All right. And I also found a couple of other games, which is actually not part of the list from the article itself. But this is the re implementation of Caesar 3. Okay, they got Julius. And they have Augustus as well. Okay. And going back to the list itself, we got Unvanquished, which is a fast paced first person strategy game. All right. And then we have Stunt Rally, which is a racing game. We have Red Eclipse, which is another first-person shooter with a built-in editor. Looks pretty good. Then we have Free Civ. It's one of these uh, empire building strategy games. Okay. Then we have Unknown Horizons, which is an open source real-time economy simulation game. Then we have Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, a roguelike adventure game. Then we have Open RA, which is a recreation of the classic Command and Conquer real time strategy games. Okay. I'll download that one. Then we have Step Mania, which is the rhythm and dance game. Then we have Shattered Pixel Dungeon, which is a roguelike RPG game with pixel art graphics. Okay. And then we have Sea Dogs SDL, classic overhead run and gun game. And last but not least, we have My Industry which is a sandbox tower defense game. Okay. Now, in the past, if we wanted to install a Flatpak app, what we had to do, we had to scroll down to the command itself. We, had, we would have to copy that, and then we would have to go into PuTTY and enter all those commands, okay? Uh, so it turns out the good news is that Nicholas has been working on an update for Flatpak. And now we don't have to worry about entering any type of command. In fact, he's implemented a new graphical interface that allows us to just search for the app and then just install it without having to worry about any type of commands, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, uh, in fact, let's go ahead and load up Batocera, and then we'll go ahead and install uh, these apps into the Batocera system, all right? Okay, so we're about to set. Let's go ahead and press F1 on our keyboard. And let's go into Applications. And there's the new edition, Flatpak Config, okay? This is a graphical interface so we can install and uninstall apps within Flatpak. Okay. You can see here, the first thing we see here, uh, this button is one in green. That just means that these are updates, okay? And I can just go ahead and upgrade them all, okay? Want to update applications? Yes. And then I'll start doing it. Proceed. 
and I'll do it, okay? I'll fast forward all this section so you don't have to see all this. All right, so as you can see, they were done. And then after it upgrades any of the apps you already have installed, it's going to have this prompt right here, which requires you to say yes, and then it's going to reboot the system again, all right? So we'll fast forward that section as well. Okay, so Bata City System has already rebooted. We're going to just go back into the Flatpak configuration app right here, right? You can see that all our apps in the graphical user interface, okay? Everything is there. Now you notice here, I've got a black cursor and a white cursor, okay? There's a bug there. Uh, Nicholas is aware of it. He's going to try to fix that, okay? But it's the white one that we have to work with, not the black one, okay? So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and, and install some apps, all right? Let's go into the ones we saw earlier. Warzone 2100. So I'll search for it, and there it is. Click on it, and go into install. Yes. So much easier to install apps now using Flatpak. All right, so as it's installing, you can go into show details. And that'll kind of give you a little view of what's going on in terms of the installation process, OK? So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this until it finally installs everything. All right, so it's already installed. Let's go ahead and, and do the other games. Open TDD. And there it is. Go ahead and install this one too. Yes. Okay, once again, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this. All right, and now we will do the same for the other games as well. All right, well, go ahead and fast forward all this. All right, so here's another one we're going to install, but in case you want to see a screenshot, you can also do that as well. Let me show you. Just like a fun little game right there. All right, and I just go ahead and install. All right, once again, we'll fast forward all this. Okay, so we ran into a problem with Unvanquish. Somehow there was an error there and it could not install, so we're going to go ahead and skip that one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and install the rest of the games, and when we finish with everything, then we'll resume the tutorial. All right, so all the games have been installed, so let's go into the install button right here. And there they are, okay? Everything is there. The only one that had trouble installing was Unvanquished. Everything else installed without any problems. All right, so once you got the install, just go ahead and close it right there. All right, go into File, close that, and then go into the Start button on your gamepad. Go into Game Settings, Update Games List. It might take a while depending upon how many games you installed. All right, it's there. Let's go on Applications, and everything should be there. I can see the games I've installed, okay? It's done automatically for you. Let's take a look at some of them, not all of them, all right? Just to give you a little taste of what we did. Now then, I have noticed that it's a good idea to reboot the system once you installed everything. Uh, because uh, some of these games, even though they install properly, uh, they don't work until you reboot the system. So go ahead and reboot the system after you installed everything, okay? So let's look at some of these games. All right, so this is requiring me to have the original files for season three, okay? So I'm not gonna be able to test this out. Uh, but if you have that, you can go ahead and put it into uh, one of these folders and then it should work, okay? So let's go ahead and get out of this.
Okay, so some of these games are not going to work. Um, sometimes it's because it's using pulse audio, which is not compatible with Batocera. So that one right there again doesn't work. We're going to have to uninstall it. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to something else. Julius is also going to need the original Caesar 3 file, so I'm not going to be able to test that one out. Control initialized. Thank you. 
Transport destinations follow. Alpha, Western Sector. Vegas. Alpha, you are cleared to take off. Check. Good luck and good luck. You lead Team Alpha, one of three expeditionary teams sent out by the project to recover artifacts from before the collapse. Your destination lies in the Western Zone. Commander, you are to establish a base in this sector. Once the base is established, begin your search for a pre-collapse structure located in this sector. This building is believed to contain advanced neural synapse technology that is vital to the success of the project. Power resource. Incoming intelligence report. Mission timer activated. Briefing commences. Scavenger raiders are approaching our base. Defend the base, then destroy the scavenger camps. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Scavengers detected. All right, so most of the games seem to work. And the only one that really didn't wasn't working was um, was this one right here. So let's go ahead and un uninstall that one, okay? So press F1, go back to Applications, go back to Flatpak Config, right there, uninstall, yes. And that's how it's done. Let's close this. Let's go into ROMs. Unfortunately, when you update the games list, it's still it's still going to show. In fact, let me show you. And you can see there it's still showing. That's a bug from the actual application itself, according to Nicholas. So let's go ahead and manually uninstall it. So go to press F1, go to ROMs, go to flat pack, and and there it is. Let's go ahead and delete that, move to trash. Yes. And then that's it. Close it and update it. And it's not there anymore. Okay? So that's how it's done. Now then, let's go ahead and go into Steam. I'm going to show you something that uh, Nicholas worked on. Okay, 
Let's go into my library. And let's go into Descent 3. Let's go ahead and install this game right here. Okay, so the game install. Uh, in the past, you had to enter commands. You don't need to do them no more. Let's go ahead and get out of this. All right. Going to game settings, update games list. Okay. We're going to now go into the Steam folder. You can see there. It's there automatically, okay? It's been added into our game collection from Steam, all right? So it's much easier to do this now compared to the past you had to enter commands. Now, if you delete the game, unfortunately, let's go back, just go back into Steam. All right, you go back into the game itself. Let's say I want to uninstall it. Okay, get out of this. Go back into my Steam folder. You can see there, it's still there. Unfortunately, it doesn't work uninstalling the game. So that you also have to manually uninstall it, all right? Or delete it, shall we say. So let's go back into F1, go into the ROMs, go into the Steam folder, and look for Descent 3 right there, and go ahead and move to Trash, all right? And then we're good to go. Game settings, update games list. And there we are, it's gone, okay? All right, so that's how it's done. Let's go back to applications. All right. So for my next tutorial, I'm gonna be focused on GZ Doom. It turns out I have a tutorial that uses Windows base of this, but it's a very complicated process. And it turns out the Flatpak app is much easier to use uh, and in fact, you can use a whole bunch of these watts, uh, Hexen, uh, Heretic, uh, Beyond Heretic, Harmony, Hacks, okay, and some other ones you can download. It's a very simple process, so I'm going to show you that next time uh, I'm about to set a nation. All right, so that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I've got a lot more tutorials coming up. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Batos Nation. Bye.